You know, when you're wintertime frog fishing, lure placement is so key. You gotta, I always tell guys this, you know, it's so important. Learn how to cast. Learn how to cast underhand with it with a nice little pick. I have this little cast that I use. It's called a circle S. I call it a circle. I've been calling it a circle S ever since the 90s. But it's a great way to you rod you load that rod up and you, you can you can just snap. You can keep that bait really low. You can get underneath trees that are hanging over, you can get it behind docks, shoot it up in in between docks. Uh, trees that are hanging over, you got some, you got a nice little alleyway in there, you can shoot it right in there. Or you can take that frog and you can pitch it in there. There's nothing wrong with that. Whatever you have to do to keep that frog low and a lot of momentum, a lot of speed, very, very key. That bait has got to be traveling fast, okay, in order to get it back as far as you usually need to get it back in there. All right, very, very important. So the way that you deliver the bait, absolutely key. The way that that bait lands in the water, if it's calm, which usually your frog situations, it's gonna be pretty calm. So you wanna butter that joker in there. You wanna have a minimal amount of splash. We always talk about, oh, I wanna put it in there nice and quiet, nice and quiet, nice. When you're frog fishing in real tight quarters, those bass are in there, it's very quiet. They understand anything and everything that's going on. Those of you that deer hunt, when you go deer hunting and you walk up that ravine and you go crack, you step on that little stick and you can hear that deer leaving up in the canyon, right? Bass are the same way. Three, four, five, seven, nine pounds, 10 pounds, right? That joke is sitting up there in 12 inches of water, 14 inches of water, two feet of water, whatever it may be, in behind and amongst some obstacles. So if you grenade that joker in there, that bass is gonna jam. She's gonna, she's gonna take off, she's gonna skip. You're never gonna see, you're never even gonna get a chance. You've spooked that bass before you ever gave yourself a chance of catch. So let's not screw it up with a poor presentation. But I'm telling you what, you can have some phenomenal days with this little guy right here, when that water temperature is, like I said, in that, realistically, in that 50 to 58. Oh my goodness, don't put it away. Bobby Barrick from Bobby Barrick's Bass Class. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's what keeps us going. I'll talk to you folks after a while.